Hello. Not being able to celebrate the Eucharist with you for the past few weeks has actually made me think more about the Eucharist. Uh, one of the great uh, images that always comes with me uh, with celebrating the Eucharist is that of God's abundant care and love for us. Uh, there's always enough to go around. And uh, I don't know about you, but at the beginning of March, I, I was becoming increasingly aware about uh, toilet paper and worried about the dwindling supply in my household. Uh, so I would periodically check the local stores throughout the month and uh, would always be told that, uh, I'm sorry, uh, that's on back order. We will get that as soon as we can. My anxiety level is now going through the roof. And um, one day I happened to see a, a box of toilet paper being delivered to a neighbor on their porch. And I I thought, wow, that's, a, that's an idea I hadn't thought about of ordering toilet paper online. Uh, so I did, I went online and I looked through several vendors and uh, surprisingly, almost all the ven vendors I looked at uh, were having toilet paper on back order. <laughs> now I'm really getting anxious. I finally find one uh, that does offer 10 rolls of toilet paper, uh, and uh, they'll be happy to deliver it to me for the price of $12. I thought, great, perfect. I'll, I'll just do that as insurance and make sure uh, we have toilet paper in the house. I uh, scroll down through, fill out the form, and as I do, I'm told, uh, you know what, the toilet paper is not gonna be coming to you until the end of May, probably. Uh, so now I know I really need this toilet paper. So I, uh, I go fill out the form. At the end of the form, I'm told it's going to be another $12.95 to have it delivered to your home. I thought, great. You know, it's just like the jokes that were circulating at the time that uh, toilet paper was uh, more, worth more than uh, illicit drugs. Well, I just want to share with you what I actually got in the mail. Uh, here are my 10 rolls of toilet paper. And here's a, just to compare it, here is a, a roll of, a normal size roll of toilet paper. Anyway, so I hope you think that's funny. Um, and uh, the joke is really on me because I, I gave in to the lie of scarcity. It's so easy to do, particularly these days. Um, and yet the gospel is full of affirmations of God's abundance, God's uh, willingness to care for us, no matter what our situation is. Uh, and I'm, this is not pie in the sky. I'm not trying to be Pollyannish about this. Uh, but there is a sense when we trust, when we live with uh, hands that are open um, and trusting God's abundance for us, um, we're always surprised by that. And, and so in Matthew's gospel, we hear Jesus' words, do not be anxious. Um, they're great words, but difficult often to live into. Uh, we also hear the story of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. Uh, I love the story because they're, they're in a desolate place. Uh, Jesus is confronted with this crowd of very hungry people, uh, and he takes what, what he finds there and uh, blesses it, uh, breaks it, and offers it to the people. And, and what, what happens? Everybody eats to their fill full, and uh, there are um, baskets, baskets of leftovers. Uh, and that's the way it is with uh, God's um, providence, God's abundance, God's looking after us uh, day in and day out. And that we also respond with lives that are equally uh, reflect that um, abundance, that sense of uh, living with open hands. And so I think really during this time where the Easter season, uh, we are in being invited to live into this sense of abundance, uh, this sense of uh, God's abundance being all around us. Uh, hoarding doesn't help anybody. Opening our hands to help our neighbor, to be uh, there for other people in this distressing times is something that we can do. And so in this Easter season, I really think we are invited to embrace the truth that we are uh, we're cared for and that you and I can care for others. You know what? Loaves abound. Toilet paper, however, may not.